Hey guys, welcome back to DIY with me. If you may recall when we made these beautiful little cute bunny garland, I told you to hold on to those pieces because we could make something else out of the pieces that we have. So with that, we're gonna come and we're gonna take a four by six frame, very simple. And you're gonna probably pick out the best bunny piece that you'd had. And I'm gonna see which one is the best. This one I know is not because it's all messed up. So I'm just going to crumple up the ones that are not the best. And I'm actually going to keep these. If they're crumpled like this, they're great for filling. So I'm going to stick these in this little container with my pom-poms. That one's pretty good. So let's look at that one. This one is pretty good. So I'm just going to kind of lay out which one's the best one. And I'm thinking that I want one that has... Okay, this one has a thing up top. So I'm going to cut that. I'm going to ball that up and stick it in there. I'm going to ball this one up so we have three. Now you can make three if you want. It's up to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, come back with my scissors. And I'm just going to trim the edges of this. Because it's not going to all fit in the frame anyways. So I'm just going to trim the little excess off the top. Now you, I'm using plain white cardstock, but if you have other, if you have colored cardstock in your craft section, 100% use that. And what I'm doing is I'm just cutting some because I know it's not going to fit in the four by six frame without trimming it and taking these little pieces and balling them up because we can use this for fiber fill or filling anything. So these two, I'm going to set aside. If I'm not going to end up using them, I will thin them up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and I'm going to use a glue stick instead of a hot glue gun. Because a glue stick is going to be easier to work with with this particular craft. So what I'm going to do, I'm hoping these aren't dried out. I always have a couple of hot, I mean a couple of glue sticks in my craft cabinet just because it, it sometimes it calls for hot glue. I mean, calls for regular glue. So I'm just going to add some glue on the back of my bunny. Then I'm just going to come from the working from the top down to the bottom. You're just going to straighten and lay it on the table, on the place. You might have to work a little bit right here so that. And I'm going to try this one and see if this one works a little bit better. That one's definitely dried out. <laughs> Always check your craft supplies. Um, I don't have, I noticed that there's not a lot of glue here. So I'm just going to go back and add some hot glue. I mean, some regular glue. And I want this to overlap a little bit. So I'm going to add some glue here. Just so it overlaps a little bit. Now, as you see, it's still going off the page. So I'm going to come with my scissors. And hold on just a second because I'm just going to add it to the cardstock. Now you can pull out your hot glue gun if you're if it's not sticking or um, spray adhesive. But I'm just going to use this hot glue. I mean use this regular glue. And I'm just going to come and I'm going to trim the bottom. That's all I'm doing. Then you're going to go in your frame. Guys, this is a quick, so quick. Always leave this in because you never know if you're going to need it for something, like as a template. You're going to close up your frame. And there you go, guys. A little cute bunny for your bookcase, wherever you want to do with it. Um, I love this because it's super quick and easy. It's also reusing a pattern that you have used already. Um, we use this pattern, to, like I said, to make those bunnies. But guys, look at it. It looks really cute. You can actually take this and put a different color. Like if you want to put a black piece of cardstock behind it or a black piece of construction paper behind it, it'd be a really cute craft. And it's what? We made it in less than five minutes. A statement piece. It could be, you could always go back and use this part as a dry erase board and put a dry erase marker there with it. And that way you have like a notes for people that you want because it'd be easy, quick to actually write with it. And the dry erase marker can actually attach right there 
and have the bunny tail. Until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this DIY using leftover, um, what did I use? I used a frame I already had on hand, a pattern that we used to make the bunny banner, a piece of cardstock, and your book, book page, and you're reusing the book page. And I showed you also to recycle your book pages. It's actually going to go in my scraps so that when I get ready to create something that I have to do a project that I have to fill, that can be part of my filling. So until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed this really quick and easy DIY. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.